Hi guys, Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. Um, guys, this is a general reading for the collective, so let's get into this. What is the energy for the collective? What do we got for the collective? What do we got? What do we got? So, uh, you know, I feel like comfort, safety, belonging, shelter, love offer, engagement, agreement, um, wishes coming true. I almost feel like this is not really a love offer, uh, um, a love offer, a proposal, more of a proposal to move in together. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. I'm a proposal for the two of you to move in together. So let's get into this. Give me all 12 signs starting with Aries. You're dealing with an Aries. Someone's heartbroken in a relationship. If you're dealing with a Taurus. Again, out in the cold from a relationship. If you're dealing with a Gemini, someone's being patient to transform something. If you're dealing with a Cancer. Cancer, I feel like you you feel uh, like betrayed here. Cancer, you're feeling very betrayed about a new beginning, but divine time, the wheel's turning in your favor. You may have been betrayed and backstabbed, but I feel like in divine timing, you are mastering your emotions for a new beginning. If you're dealing with a Leo, Leo wants a victory with somebody from the past. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're trapped in their head about guilt or regret something, or they're missing somebody. You could be trapped in your head missing somebody. If you're dealing with a Libra, <clears throat> you may be at a stalemate in a, with a family situation. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, you're looking at things from a different perspective. You need the strength to see things from a different perspective. Sometimes we get in our own head about how we view things and we don't view things from other people's. This is kind of a card of empathy, being able to stand in somebody else's shoes and see how they feel, right? Um, so if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, somebody's protecting themselves. This is like you're obsessed. This could be like you're protecting yourself from something toxic. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this is somebody speaking the truth about a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. If you're dealing with a, an Aquarius, they're finding happiness in a new beginning. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, there's a choice between two and one is the queen of wands. So there could be a third party in a situation. So I feel like this is somebody wanting to move in together. The proposal at home, it has to do with belonging or shelter safety, literally physically a home. So this could be that offer or a wish coming true, moving in together. Um, this is also uh, an agreement. It could be an agreement. Let's move in together. You pay half, I pay half, that kind of thing. What happened in the past? Looking at something from a different perspective. Could be a dealing with a Scorpio. The strength to see somebody other somebody else's point of view. Wishing to move forward, making a decision, to, literally making a decision to move forward. So I feel like this is a strong soulmate connection that you're looking at things from their perspective. Like ending the cycle. So closing out the cycle could be a cycle of you living separately. This could be you're taking it to another level with that. Something has come full circle. 
So the relationship has come full circle as far as you dating, and it's time to take it to another level. And you need the strength to do that. You're very trapped in your head about your wish. This is uh, communicating. Somebody may feel like This is not going to be for everybody, but somebody may be traveling or moving and somebody wants to communicate how much they miss them, how much they miss somebody when they're gone, when they're, they're away from them. So, um, when they, when they're moved, when they could be driving, they could be traveling, they could be whatever this is, they're communicating that they miss them when they're not with them. Yeah. They're making a decision that's going to bring about a, a brown, Speak, speak. Okay. It's going to bring about a victory here. Moving forward. This is, you know, looking at the seeds that are planted, I feel like somebody here is ready. They're ready. They're ready for their wish fulfillment. So it's almost like you could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like this is your wish, you know, to work on something, to work on the burdens and be patient with one another and overcome obstacles to have a new beginning with one another. It's like you working out the kinks, trying to figure out what you need to do to make this work. This also could be somebody you're just dating. You're not really in a commitment yet. This may be, be taking it to a higher level of commitment going from dating to serious, monogamous, that kind of thing. What's happening in the here and now? I think we're picking out sheet, set, sheet sets at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's been a long time. It could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Oh, I feel like, okay, I know what's happening. Okay, so I feel like in the here and now, what's happening here, a long time ago, there was a Queen of Cups, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. And this emperor here got his heart broken because of mind games and manipulation. Somebody was controlling or acting a fool, whatever this was, and then they walked away. So I feel like that Queen of Cups was trying to be on the, the Emperor's level, you know, with the Five of Swords. That's, you know, playing mind games to win at all costs, where the Emperor's kind of, I rule, you know, rules with the Iron Fist, so to speak. You know, it's my way or the highway kind of thing, right? So... I feel like this Emperor could be a... King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I feel like in the past there was a Queen of Cups. Now this person is single and ready to mingle, so to speak. But this person's being patient. They're being, they're, you know, taking the time to find balance because of a broken heart with a partnership. See, being patient in their partnership with this new person because of a heartbreak they had with somebody else. They're trying to be as patient, take as much time as they can to get to know one another before they do this because of a heartbreak in the past. See, looking, you know, looking out to the future, this person doesn't want to see the, 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 the five of swords again. This person is being cautious because they don't want to repeat past mistakes, right? This person's taken the time to do it right, right? Because they, they don't want this to end with drama, drama and somebody walking away. So somebody's going to take the time. They took the time, I feel like. This person is very um, solid, stable, dependable. This person is somebody you can, okay, first of all, whoever this is for, this, this emperor, king of pentacles, is going to be someone who's going to support you financially. Um, not that you need it, but this person is going to be somebody that is solid, stable, and dependable. 
someone who's going to get up and go to, to work every day and provide for the family and be a leader in the family. Like he could be a husband or, but he's definitely a leader. So he's got very strong characters, what I'm saying. But this person has been hurt in the past and they're take, taking the time, taking the time so that there's no drama and somebody walking away, right? That's what's happening because they see you as this. They see you as the queen of pentacles, that perfect match, the husband and the wife, right? They want to tell you emotionally communicating that they want to, they want, they're daydreaming, but they're a little trapped in their head, still kind of nervous um, about, they're a little trapped in their head and their judgment is a little guarded. This is about somebody moving in, um, but somebody's a little guarded about that because they want to make sure there's going to be equal give and take in a situation. <clears throat> when you do move, this tower is about moving residences. This is about moving residences. They want equal give and take when you move in. This is like somebody who's going to be not only, you know, you know, you know the deal. You know the deal. Equal give and take meeting. You guys are going to meet each other on the in the middle. This is a meeting in the middle. And you know, people think it's 50-50. It's never 50-50 in a relationship, guys. It's a hundred a hundred. You're going to meet somebody in the middle. You bring everything to the middle. You bring everything you can to the middle. And the same with them. When you bring everything to the middle and you work on the relationship with uh, uh, everything, with all your dedication, then it'll work. If you're only bringing half of what you got, you ain't going to get, you're not going to get what you want. It's not about it being 50 50. 50 50 is a myth. Bring everything you got to the middle, put it in there and say, I'm ready. Otherwise, don't waste your time. Because, you know, if you only came in 50%, what are you expecting to get? 50%? 50% of them? Or would you want 100%? Okay, so in the, in the near future, this person's really... I feel like this person's taking their time and they're thinking it over and they want to they make sure that there's equal give and take in a situation. They're ending, they're ending cycles. They're closing out things that no longer serve them. And like that person from the past that broke this person's heart, they're going to release that, let it go and be patient, trying to find some kind of balance. They're not talking about the pain they've suffered for a long time. They've been going through something quietly for a long time, keeping it to themselves, not talking about it, right? You may not, e you might not even know how hurt this person was from that past relationship. But they're really healing. They're trying to heal from the betrayal. They're healing from a betrayal. But they're trying to end the cycle. They're closing out the cycle so that they can rebuild. They definitely want to be in a relationship. King of Swords. Plotting, planning, looking at everything. Dotting every I. Crossing every T. Right? Figuring it out. Figuring it out. Because they want all ten cups. They want to fill all ten of these cups. Again, they've been guarded and defensive for a very long time. But look, there's a foundation here, a celebration. This is something, you know, celebrating with their Ten of Cups. This is about a whole new, you know, like if they were in this, this dark, gloomy, right? Now they're in the sunlight, right? There's sunlight here. There's, it's, it's going from it being gloom and doom to where it's going to be beautiful energy here. So all Ten Cups are being filled in this relationship. And I feel like, you know, you could be a past life soulmate healing with this past life soulmate. You're healing the drama from a past life. I feel like You're healing, you're healing because of this past life soulmate, Empress Energy. You're healing because of this person. This is who's, who's helping you through all of this. 
This is them healing you or helping you to heal, seeing something from a different perspective. You were, you were heartbroken over all of the drama and strife and jealousy and the competition that you were put in. And, and this is like, even if you, uh, I feel like this is you laying your heart on the line with somebody. It's almost like you regret speaking the truth. You, it's like you regret speaking the truth. You kept it to yourself for so long, right? You didn't speak about it for the longest time. And now you regret speaking your truth. You feel like there's going to be more of that. But divine timing's at play. You're looking at the seeds that are planted here. And you're holding on. I feel like whatever happened to you where you were betrayed in a relationship, there's a new passionate beginning for you. But look what's happening. You're getting you're getting the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles. This new beginning, this new, this new venture that you're on with your partner is is going to bring about a lot of passion and abundance. You see justice here. You see justice. You know, this is you seeing justice here. Wow, I feel like you're going to come out of this really well, but this is you overcoming, or the, the masculine energy in this case, overcoming a lot of pain to um, take those steps to moving forward in a relationship, you know, and um, I see it working out. So um, guys, that's all I have for you. If that resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a blessed day.